Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be placing a new song on that record that I'm holding right here, and then we'll toss it over into the jukebox right back there, so we can hear new music here inside of Minecraft. Now, as a bonus, after I do that, I'll come back and I'll show you how to build those speakers back there as well. Okay, we'll start off on the desktop, so let's switch over there. Okay, to start off with, you want to make a new folder on your hard drive. I have one right here. I just named it PAX. I put it on my C drive right there, and of course, you want to have your new song as well. Here's one I found in the YouTube Media Library. That way there's no copyright, so it's safe to put in this video. And it's an MP3 file. We need to convert this over to the .ogg or .og format, and I found MP3 files work best for that. You can get these all over the place. Amazon's a good source for MP3 music files. Okay, we also need to get a folder in here. Let's make a new folder right here, and Assets. Go inside of Assets, New Folder Minecraft. Inside of that, New Folder Sounds. Inside of that, New Folder Records. There we go. And inside of Records is where that song file will go. We can do that real fast. Go back here to Packs. I'm just going to right click on this and copy. Go inside of Assets, Minecraft Sounds, Records, and then right click and paste. We now need to convert this over to the AUG format. And for that, I'll be using another free program called Audacity. It's a free download, and it's a great sound editing app, and the only one I recommend for doing this particular step. Okay, I'll bring that program up. Here's the Audacity program right here. You can make it any size you want. I'll just leave it at the small size. That's all we need. And then you can bring this in either by using the File and Open command right there, or just drag and drop right from your folder. There we go. Now we need to convert this into a mono file. Right now it's stereo. You can see there's two tracks in here. Go up to Tracks. Come down to Mix, and then Mix Stereo down to Mono right there. Okay, now we're set. Go up to the File menu, come down to Export, and Export as OGG right here. You can then navigate to your folder up there, and you want to put it back into the right folder, and that's in the Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, Records, right in here. Choose Save, click OK. There we go. Let's double check our folder, and there it is. There's our OGG file, and that's all set to go. Okay, we're now done with Audacity and close that down. Okay, now we need to rename this. It has to be called cat. So it should say cat.ogg. That way it's going to work in the game. So far, so good. Now I want to also rename this thing so it gives a different name inside of the program. I want it to say snake on the beach in the program. So we need to edit a language file to change the name of this, how it shows up in the game. Let's do that right now. Go back up here. Latest release, let's go back to that folder right there, and then come down where it says versions, go into versions, and into 117, and you want to have that .jar file right there. Let's bring our other folder back up. Let's now navigate back to our PAX folder. There we go. And let's right drag it into here, and copy. There it is. Okay, let's close that out of the way. Let's now rename this .zip. Hit the Enter key. Choose Yes when it says that. It's now just a regular zip file. Now, right click on this, open a new window. Here we go. Go inside the assets folder, inside of Minecraft, and then up here where it says lang. We actually need the lang folder and this file, so we can do that very easily. Notice it's inside that Minecraft folder, so let's go back over here. Assets, Minecraft, there we go. Let's go back into here. I'm going to right drag it over here and copy. We'll just copy the whole thing out like that. Okay, we're done with this. Get that out of the way. Go inside of the language file here. I have mine opening up in a program called Notepad++. It's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. And it's a great editor for this kind of text file. There we are. Double click on this. This should again open up inside of Notepad++. We want to find the music files. So let's go up here to search and find. Type in music and search. Find next, find next. And there we go. There's our music files. Okay, close the search down. Now we change the one here that's called cat, and that's that one right there. So I can change this. This is what shows up in the inventory. Let's go ahead and we'll change this one. Call it snake on the beach. I'm just going to copy that. Right click and copy. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit, and down here, there's the cat right here. This is the description. This is what shows when you put the disc into the jukebox. So let's change that as well right here, and this time just right click and paste. Make sure you don't lose those quotation marks. You don't lose that comma. Just change just the words. Okay, change both of those. That's all set. Let's do save. Get that out of the way. Now we have everything we need for our resource pack. Let's go back here to packs. We can get rid of this. Click on delete. We're done with that. We now need two more files. We need a pack.mc meta and a pack.png. Now, Minecraft 1.17 doesn't have the pack MC meta file yet. 
So I have to grab that from an earlier version. So let's go back over here to our launcher, go back to that folder, back down to versions, just like we did before. I have 16.5 on here, let's go in here, and I want that 16.5 jar file. So I'll bring back up this folder, and let's just right drag it over here, and copy. I can close this down again, and change the name so it says .zip, and yes. Okay, right click, open it in new window. Big long list of files here, scroll way down towards the bottom. It's done into the P section right here. Pack MC Meta and Pack PNG, you want both of these. I'll just right drag those over here and copy. And close that down. You can delete that. That's everything we need. In the Pack PNG, this is just a square picture. Pack MC Meta, this is a special text file. Okay, let's open this thing up. Now there are two things we need to do in here. The first one, Pack Format, this now is Pack Format 7 for Minecraft. 1.17 and then give it a new name up here I'll just call it new record 1.17 again make sure you don't lose those quotation marks or that comma choose save that's now done we can now build our resource pack let's just select all three of these go up here to share hit zip and then give this one a name I'll do the same name right there and this can now be used in the game. Let's go ahead and do that. Go back up here to our launcher, back to that folder again. And in here this time, go inside of resource packs. And here's the resource packs that I have in my game. Let's go back over here and then just drag and drop that in. There we go. It's now in the game. We need to activate it still, but it's all set to go. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Get this out of the way and I'll play the game and we'll activate that pack. Okay, here we are on the title screen. Come down to Options, Resource Packs, and you should see your pack on the left-hand side. There it is. Hit that arrow. It goes to the right-hand side. Choose Done. Click on Done again. We can now go into the game and see if that works. Here's my file right here. We'll load the game up, and that should also load in that resource pack as the game loads up. Okay, there I am. I already have that cat. Notice that the name is now changed to Snake on a Beach. As I roll over that, you can see that in the inventory. So that has worked fine. Let's toss this over into the jukebox and make sure that it's actually playing the right song. There we go. And it says Snake on a Beach. Let's take it out, try it again. There you go. There's a name. So the name change is working and it's also playing the right song. Now for the bonus section, let me show you how to make one of these speakers right here. Okay, we're back to our build folder here. Let's go inside of Assets, inside of Minecraft. And I need to put a new folder in here and grab an image for this. So let's go back in here, Installations, back to that folder right here, back into Versions, and back to our 117. Again, take that jar file. I'm going to right drag it over into here. There we go. And copy. There it is. Doesn't matter where you put it as long as we're working with it properly. Let's just change this to a zip file. And yes, there we go. Right click, open a new window. Yeah, let's go into Assets, into Minecraft. We need a Textures folder over here. So let's make that one. New folder, Textures. Inside of Textures, and here's our zip file again. We need another folder down here called Painting. So in here, new folder, Painting. There we go. Let's open that one up. And then over here, inside of Painting, in here, the one you want is this Albin PNG. It's one of the small square images. I'm just going to right drag it over here and copy. There we go. And let's close this down. Now we need to open this up in a program. I like using paint.net. It's also a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. Now I've already made my change on this. So let me open up paint.net and I'll show you what I did. Okay, here we are inside of paint.net. That's our real small painting right down here. I'm just going to zoom in on that. That's in the bottom right hand corner. See it a bit better. There we go. That's all this one is. And I need to make this a bigger file to get the detail we want. So let's go up to image, come down to resize, and in here, set resampling at nearest neighbors right there, and set this at 64 by 64, choose OK, and there it goes, just back out of that a little bit, and I'll get that centered better. There it is. So that's the original image. What I did was, I took out the black wool image, and I copied that, and pasted that on top of this. And then I went and found some clip art that had some nice speakers in there. And I just pasted those speakers right on top of that. So that's how I made that image. I do have the whole resource pack as a download on my website. There's a link for that in the description. If you want to have this same exact one, that's fine. Okay, let's go back to our resource pack. Okay, here's my changed image. And here's the one that we're replacing. I'll just drag it over here and copy and replace. There we go. That's now the correct image right here. Let's get rid of this one. 
Now back up to the Minecraft folder and delete that 117 zip and then go back to the packs folder and it's now all set to go. Let's go ahead and we'll re-zip this up again. So same thing, select all of those, share, click on zip, give this one a name, new records with speakers, call it that, that's fine. Let's get this into the game, go back over here, back to that folder again, back to resource packs right here, and then drag it into that folder. There we go, we're all set to go. Okay, so let's get this out of the way, get this out of the way, back to play again, back into options, back into resource packs. Let's take out that one, get that out of the way, there we go. And let's bring in our new records with speakers. We're all set, choose done, and done again. Back into single player, and there's my music world for our demo here. And there we go, and our speakers are showing just fine. Okay, let's now see how you actually build one of these things. And for that, let's go around the back side here. Now you need to have a wall to put this on, some kind of wall or a stack of blocks, whatever, doesn't matter. Take an armor stand and put it right there. Take black wool and put it right above that. Now take a stone or any other block and put it up to right there. So it's armor stand, black wool, and that way up on top there. And then come in close and put a piston on the bottom side of that so piston's facing down. That's good. Take your lever, put a lever on top of that or right on the side. Click the lever, the piston pushes that down onto the stand and that makes the bottom part of the speaker. Looks good. We can now get rid of that stuff, that's no longer needed. Okay, there's the first half of the speaker. Let's now put our painting on here. Right click, oh, I got lucky. These come on randomly and there are a whole bunch of these square pictures or may or may not get lucky like I just did there. Okay, bottom one is set. Let's now put another black wall on top, there we go. Same thing, back to our painting. There we go, that's what normally happens, is that you normally won't get it on your first shot. I just got lucky. There we go. That's also why I like to do the bottom one first, because in case you happen to break away that block, you can rebuild your stand, put a new wool block on there, and then get that bottom one. The top one's easier to fix. But there it is, there is that speaker stand, and I just made two of those in here, just like that. So there you go. That's how to put custom music on the music discs inside of Minecraft. And I'll see you next time.